Hello, this is Robin. I'd like to welcome all my new friends and the ones that have been with me from the beginning. Um, I am going to do this short video asking for prayer requests uh, for my grandson, Justin. He is 15. Um, he apparently, a couple weeks ago, he was playing um, dodgeball in school at gym, in gym. And of course, there was no teacher present. He stepped out. So of course, you know, kids are going to be kids. And this was a glow-in-the-dark ball they had that they were playing um, the game with. And of course, you know, they were tackling each other like football. And my grandson has played football for several years. So, um, I guess, you know, a couple times within the last week and a half, he's been complaining with his back. Um, but you know, we just figured he might've pulled a muscle or whatever, cause he was still going to school every day and being a 15 year old kid. Well, yesterday when my daughter come home from school, or from work, uh, it was worse. So she ended up taking him to the emergency room and they did x-ray and a CAT scan and blood work. And here, don't ask me how, but he has a broken bone in his back and a um, dislocated uh, disc or bulging disc. Um, and the doctors are worried because he's not done growing yet and this has been like this for a week and a half going on two weeks so um he they sent him home monday the doctor's calling uh he has to go for an mri he has to go to a surgeon um they said that it is pretty bad um he's uh in a lot of pain they gave him a lot of uh, pain medicine uh, before he left um, he is uh, six foot one and a half he's almost six foot two and he's over 200 pounds and um, he's not he's like solid <laughs> he's a big boy and um, you know so I don't know what's going to happen but um Please, if you all would, please keep him in your prayers. Um, you know, I'm really hoping that it's nothing uh, major that that can't heal on its own. Uh, maybe with some physical therapy or something. I don't know what they do for that sort of thing. And they really need the MRI to be able to tell more in depth uh, about what's going on. So, um and also, real quick, uh, my daughter's daughter, my granddaughter, uh, she's 12. Um, they thought she had um, lupus. So uh, my daughter and I took her to a specialist. Well, I rode with my daughter for her to take her to a specialist about an hour from here. And they don't really think that she has lupus. Um she is having problems with her joints, but it seems more in her left wrist area and her left knee. Um, the doctor was actually able to take the kneecap, like while she's messing with Faith's knee, she was actually able to take the kneecap out of the socket and move it around inside Faith's knee. And of course that hurt. So, um, this past Friday, she took her back down for an uh, a MRI with the dye going through the IV. And now they're waiting for the results to come back for that. And the doctor said, sometimes we have extra um, tissue that might grow in that area that prevents the kneecap from sitting in the socket area. Um, or it could be mechanical. Um, th those were the words that the specialist used. So, um, my daughter has a lot on her plate right now, and so does my son-in-law. So, um, again, my grandson's name is Justin, and, um, 
my granddaughter is Faith, and they're both uh, my daughter's two kids. Um, so please keep them in your thoughts and prayers, and um, you know, pray that when they get the results back, that this is something that won't need surgery. Um, so you know, they're twelve and fifteen; they're active. Um, you know, my granddaughter's a cheerleader. Um, you know, my grandson always plays uh, baseball and football. And um, so, you know, just it, it's hard. It, it's hard. And then, you know, with the way my daughter is uh, working and then dealing with all of this stuff. So anyway, there's a lot of people that deal with this kind of stuff every day. Um, but please keep them in your thoughts and prayers if you would. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. All right. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.